Greetings audience, I'm Boomstick, and today we're going to be looking at the SBL by Gavin Fuzzy Customs. The SBL stands for Spamf, but long. Now I ordered hard the hardware and printed this blaster all myself. You can get the hardware or completed blaster from Gavin Fuzzy Customs Etsy, which I will have linked down below in the description as always. There are a multitude of options available for the SBL which you can choose from. There's obviously the half dark configuration, which I'm using, but there's also a full length. I went with the buffer tube stock instead of the retractable worker style stock. I also went ahead and grabbed the machine plunger, sear, and the Vanguard pusher as well. I went ahead and just grabbed all the extra bits, which was, uh, I think, well worth it. I'm also using the Gavin Fuzzy Scar, which I printed and strung myself, along with the angled foregrip that he designed. As far as printing goes, I printed most of these without support, however, I think there were a few pieces I decided to add support to. And putting the SBL together was actually much easier than I thought it was going to be. If you've ever built a Caliburn or Talonclaw, this is easier. Mostly due to some of the different hardware that you see here. It just made it much easier to deal with as opposed to dealing with a large amount of nuts. Now you do have a lot of extra little screws here that you gotta put in here and there, so I'm not sure if I'm going to say it's necessarily easier than the Caliburn, but it very well might be. The instructions were also incredibly easy. I ended up using that for the entire build as well as the instructions for the SCAR. It was all pretty straightforward and really easy to follow, so really good instructions on that end. And with how the last couple of builds have gone, I might actually start doing uh, building live streams again for the blasters I'm working on. Uh, some blasters <laughs> kind of turned me off from live streaming builds that I haven't built before. But that's okay. I still love it. But that's enough blabbering. Let's uh, go outside and uh, take a look at how she fires, shall we? The SBL pump was designed with copper bushings that give the SBL a really smooth prime as it glides over the bolts. The blaster is solid and really comfortable to hold and prime. I had a couple of darts misfeed into the barrel, which I believe is an issue with my mag and not the blaster. The scar also worked beautifully, giving me a nice tight grouping right where I was aiming. When putting it over my chronograph with fresh AF Pro darts, I was getting 245 to 250 FPS, which is perfect for those high FPS battles. With the Vanguard pusher, you can take out the mag without priming the blaster. However, you can't gravity drop your mags. In order to gravity drop your mags, you'll still need to prime it, which is more of a personal preference than really a detriment. The SBL also has a noticeably shorter prime than other blasters I'm used to. The SBL prime length is about 90 millimeters, while the Talonclaw U bullpup I have has a prime length closer to 100, a little bit over 100 millimeters. Which isn't much, but definitely something I had to get used to. Again, not a con, just an observation. Now for my final thoughts. When I first saw this blaster starting to pop up, I didn't quite get the hype. I ended up ordering the hardware kit because I was curious. I ended up dragging my feet and building it, but I honestly should have built this a month ago because I love this blaster. I was blown away with this performance and how it fires and just the comfort it's I have no complaints about this blaster and <laughs> all I can say is definitely either build it yourself buy one I don't care you need to get one of these because this blaster is amazing now at this time I'm unsure whether or not there's a lower spring option than what's currently here. However, I'm fairly certain it'd be really easy to change out to a weaker spring. But for me, this fits my needs perfectly. So if you had any doubts about the SBL or you'd have aimed in the SBL and a Talonclaw or a Caliburn, honestly, I recommend the SBL over the Talonclaw, which makes me a little sad because that's been my go-to high FPS primary for a while. But, the SBL has definitely taken its place as a full-sized high FPS blaster for me. So yeah, I can't endorse this blaster enough. It is just that amazing. Definitely, definitely go and grab yourself one if you're looking for a high-performing 
Blaster. Thank you all for watching this video. If you'd like to support the channel, there are a couple of ways you can go about doing that. You can check out my Teespring where I've got a couple of designs that you can go ahead and grab. If you won't want to do that, you could also check out my Patreon and be one of these lovely people over here who really help out the channel and I appreciate them so much. If you don't want to do either of those, you can also hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think about the SBL in my opinion that I think it's better than a Talonclaw or Caliber. And if you want to see more from myself and those around me, definitely hit the subscribe button, tap that bell, and keep an eye out for the next video. So with that, I've been Boomstick, and I'm out.